The surface of the works have a plastic behavior similar to the surface of water. It can be traversed, altered, shocked, in which the absence is more important than the evidence. The absence of almost everything, the role of disappearance of the work, the permanence of the action. These are the words of the artist Jordi Alcaraz, touching upon the aspects of his work that we sense and are so difficult to describe. Born in Calea, a small town outside of Barcelona in 1963, Jordi Alcaraz expands a history that is so remarkable, and that is the modern art of Spain. We know of the beginnings of the 20th century when great artists are moving to Paris and creating astounding revolutionary works and the works of Picasso and Joan Gris, for example. It was Gertrude Stein, in fact, that claimed that Cubism was a Spanish invention. Jordi Alcaraz is part of a history that is unique in one sense of invention and revolution, but also in that Spain was not only an inventor in the modern art era, but also that history was in some respects stopped, taken away from them, and we see something quite extraordinary. In the late 1930s, with the uprising of the bombing of Guernica and Franco's cessation of the freedom of expression of artists, Jordi Alcaraz follows a tradition that was carried forth by great artists such as Miro, Dali, Chirida. But Alcaraz has expanded the realms into another universe. The enigmatic qualities of Jordi Alcaraz are so evident in a work such as this, Historia. We see something very reflective, very organic. We kind of recognize it and yet it's something completely different. The artist has positioned us as viewers in front of this work or to the side of this work. Elements are reflected in the mirror. Elements such as crystal and, and metal. There's some aspect of history with these antique balls that were found in the mountains of Spain that were used for recreational purposes, but yet they somehow have a magical quality a mysterious quality, and that is the thing that is always evident, is the mystery of Jordi Alcaraz's work. That aspect of Jordi Alcaraz which distinguishes him from every other artist is not only in his usage of form, but of space. question of where we really stand. What is reality? Where is that time frame? In a work such as this, we see the manipulation of materials in a way that defy logic. We look at this work, we think we can even put our finger through this element. And in some aspects of the work, we can't really tell where the point of illusion and the point of reality begins and where it ends. question of time and even an illusion 
of where we stand in relationship to this work. These openings, these holes, are they giving us access? Are they evidence of a former presence? Indeed, the alchemy in materials here defy our notions of how reflection works In the hands of another, this would merely be wonderful craft. But in the hands of Jordi Alcaraz, we see something transformed to the true essence of what art can be, a sublime evocation. Not a description, not a trick, not a form for design, but truly something that sets the imagination free. And Jordi, in this work, brings together those ideas with elements that we really have not seen utilized quite this way. The aspects of reflection of light and shadow, which change continuously in the course of a day, have a manner of this notion of process. To equate Alcaraz in terms of our visual vocabulary is to really question where we are in this scheme. I liken it to the moment when we are way high in an airplane, taking off from a coast, and seeing from great distance the ocean, the waves. They're not moving. We know they are. It defies logic. We question, what is that notion of space and time? Alcaraz, in the most poetic manner, is able to place us in that question. There is something very comforting about being in a realm where we experience a visual phenomenon such as this. It is likened to what the intent of a stroll through a beautiful Zen garden. And yet it piques our intellect, it challenges what we know, and it forces us to experience beyond the moment. In this particular work, we see elements being peeled away. The sculpture literally opens up and what becomes interior and what becomes exterior is the mystery. That magic is the mystery of this work. Books are a large part of Alcaraz's vocabulary. Books are symbolic, they're informative, they're creative, and in this particular case we see books and painting coming together. We see ideas interacting with paintings.
We might consider the works of Tapias, for example, whose profound expressionist works utilizing collage as Miro had, and creating powerful walls and surfaces. But Jordi Alcaraz opens these walls and moves us into areas that are unknown. But what we have in this exhibition, entitled Altered States, is just that. Our own state is altered in the experience of a Zen garden, an exhibition where we are coming upon works that are so familiar to us, and yet we've never seen anything quite like this before.